Hey everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV. This is Uncle Ben's Farm, episode number one. All right, so I got this letter in the mail stating that my Uncle Ben died and left me his farm. And seeing as how I have have absolutely nothing else to do in my life, uh, I thought I'd come down here and check it out and see if we can make a living here on Uncle Ben's farm. So far, um, this is a really long driveway. Um, I really hope there's something here to work with. Um, hmm, all right, we've got a house. Oh, and what looks like a very old 1978 pickup truck. So oh, we've got uh, a boarded up house. Doesn't look like I'm getting in there. Um, all right, well, this is gonna be tough because uh, I've got absolutely no money. Uh, we'll check out that pickup truck later. Uh, what's over here? What is here that we can work with here on Uncle Ben's farm? Well, I didn't uh, didn't really know my Uncle Ben that much. I only met him a few times. He lives in the country and I live in the city. So, you know, we were never uh, really that close. So I'm surprised he actually left me his farm. What's this uh, growing over here? Oh, great. Uh, a field full of withered crops. Well, needs plowing, needs lime. That should be pretty easy with absolutely no money. What's uh, what's over here? What's this? An empty, an empty silage bunker. What do we got over here? Uh, oh, an empty slurry storage container. All right. Well, if we've got a slurry storage container, there must be some sort of livestock around here somewhere. But uh, the slurry is empty. So, well, here's a an empty animal barn of some kind. I'm not really sure. But, oh, not entirely empty. We've got manure. All right. Well, that's uh, a plus, I guess. Uh, oh, we got a field full of grass here that belongs to us as well. That is ready to harvest, but also needs uh, lime and plowing. Great. Oh, we've got crops in the silo. What, uh, we've got wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, uh, soybeans, and corn. Um, I don't think we can load the pickup truck. Oh, I think this was a cow barn. Here's the milking machine. I don't think that we can load the pickup truck up with crops. What's this over here? Oh, this field does not belong to me. Um, this field belongs to that guy there who's planted potatoes, so we'll get out of that. What's this? Is this mine? Hmm. I don't know. Looks to be like a very long, narrow field of grass. Maybe uh, this is where the cows graze? Who really knows? There's nothing here uh, except the dirty old pickup truck. That uh, I'm still skeptical on whether or not it runs. What's this over here? Oh, it looks like a fuel station. Although, yep, no smoking, no open fire near the fuel station. It's got to be gas. Okay. Well, that's a plus. So we've got uh, an old pickup truck that may or may not run. A uh, field full of withered crops. A field full of grass that uh, I am unable to mow. We've got a silo full of crops that uh, I'm unable to transport. Well, this is just going to be great. Oh, good. The truck runs. Okay. So let's have a look here. Oh, there's a map in the glove box. Okay, so we own field number two. Uh, let's see the whole map here. All right, so we own field number two and field number 11. That's the potato field there in field number four. We've got uh, just a few fields here in this town. I'm not... Uh, I think Uncle Ben only owned the green ones. So we've got field three and field 11. Field 3 is full of withered crops. Uh, it's completely useless to us now. So let's, uh, let's take a drive around town and check this place out. I don't see any traffic either. So maybe this whole town is dead? I don't know. Sorry to put it that way there, Uncle Ben. But what do we got here? We got a shop. An empty shop parking lot. Let's see, oh, there's a forklift over there. Alright, well... This is pretty much all there is to see here. We've got an empty shop parking lot. What is that, like a filling station of some kind? I don't know. Uh, it's just me and the old pickup truck here. All right, let's head on down the road. We'll check out what's down here by uh, field number one. Oh, well, this guy's got crops growing in that field, and they don't look withered. So uh, I'm thinking there's got to be other farmers around here somewhere. There's random cars parked all around here. All the gates closed. Let's see if this gate opens. Uh, we should be able to get in here. 
No, oh, yep, gate opens. Progress. All right, let's get in here and see what this is. Do 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 do. Oh, well, there's a grain silo there of some kind. Let's see. Oh, we've got what's that on the ground there? Pictures of different crops. I'm guessing that's where. Once we are able to transport crops, we can bring them here to sell them. Although I have no idea how we're going to do that, unless uh, we're able to put them in the back of this pickup truck and maybe shovel them out. I don't. I don't even know. Uh, zero dollars to my name. We've got to figure this out. Uh, all right, let's take a little left turn here. And we'll head down this dirt road. It looks like on the map there's an island up here. Let's go and check that out. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of, uh, looks like wheat or barley growing in this field here to my left. So it's possible that there are farmers here doing something. Um, hmm. All right. Where's this island? Is it coming up? Oh, we're going to, hopefully this bridge holds up. Rickety old bridge. It's all patched up. Yeah, what's this? What is this place? Well, field number two looks to be like a very, very small patch of grass owned by this guy. All right. Well, have fun with uh, your grass there. I'll get another little patch of grass. Oh, this looks like the sawmill. Yeah, there's some lumber there. I guess that's where we sell wood if we were able to chop down trees of some kind. Maybe we can just push them over with our pickup truck. Who knows? All right, let's head on back to the main road. And I guess we'll keep driving around. I really don't know what's to do here. Hmm, all right. I'm guessing maybe... Uh, some of these farmers with uh, crops growing in their fields maybe they need help maybe we can find some odd jobs maybe enough money to I don't know buy a lawnmower I guess and maybe cut that grass that uh, in that field that we own or maybe well I guess if I buy a plow I need a tractor which uh, we obviously don't have enough money for so that is uh, not going to work for the moment so I'm thinking maybe our only option is to try and put together enough money to buy a lawnmower. And we'll see what we can do with that grass field. But uh, for now, I think maybe we'll just uh, look around town. Whoops. 25 miles an hour. What's this? This is a gas station. Very clearly marked. All right. Well, we already have a fuel station on our farm, so don't think we'll be going to the gas station. What's over here? Oh, a bridge. Not so rickety like that other one oh, we've got a nice big river here on the end okay any boats in the water or anything anybody doing anything else there's more random cars parked somewhere what's this place here oh this must be the spinnery there's the uh, the wool and the cotton sign so I guess okay well these places actually look like they're open so maybe there is some farming going on here, just not on Uncle Ben's farm. Um, it's a shame that uh, he passed away. Maybe it was a long time ago. I have no idea. The letter really didn't state uh, when he died or how he died. It just said, hey, uh, sorry to inform you. Your Uncle Ben passed away and left you a rather large farm. So you should probably come down and check it out. Uh, okay, what's this place here? What are these folks buying? Okay, there's the milk and eggs sign. Okay, so they're buying milk and eggs. This must be some sort of dairy. Yeah, they look to be open too. Lots of employees parked in the parking lot. Okay, well there is uh, signs of hope. Let's uh, head on down the road and we'll figure out. Oh, we got lots of houses here with uh, cars parked in the drive. Oh, people, hey. Do you know my Uncle Ben? Was he cool? Hmm. All right. We've got something growing here in this field. We've got lots of people walking on this pathway. Let's try not to run them over. Okay. Yeah, lots of houses. Looks to be like a uh, small residential area in this part of town. 
What's over here? Another field. Looks like it's a freshly plowed field. Maybe planted? I don't know. How do we get out? Where's the road? All right, back on the road. So there's people here. People are working. People are walking. There's got to be some sort of work somewhere. Um, we need to drum up some cash. Um, first things first, um, we've got money. It's just sitting in the silo. You okay there, buddy? Just on the side of the road? Hmm? So we've got money. It's just sitting in the silo, but we don't have a trailer. Um, I'm not sure if this rickety old pickup truck is strong enough to pull a trailer full of wheat or soybeans or anything like that that we have. So I'm thinking we'll probably have to drum up enough money to get a tractor or something a little more powerful than this rickety old pickup truck that is uh, barely running. You know, it seems to be running okay, but who knows how much life it's got left in it. Uh, we should actually invest in a tractor or a trailer uh, tractor and a trailer, sorry, to uh, get those crops out of the silo and get those sold. Oh, here's another. Oh, yeah, there's a hotel, looks like, with uh, some cars in the parking lot. There are people here. People are doing something. Where are we going? I think I'm lost. How do we get back to Uncle Ben's farm? Hmm. All right. Well, I have... Let's go down this road here. Can we go down this road? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah, we've got more crops growing here to the right. Uh, this field's fairly large. This guy must be doing okay for himself. Looks like a water tower there. Hmm. Lots of trees around here, too. I guess that's why the sawmill is in operation. Hmm. Okay. So there's lots of opportunity here. Um, we do have some maintenance to do on the farm before we do anything. Um, well, which will require... Oh, here's the main road. It will require some sort of funding to get rid of all these withered crops and plow and lime. And then uh, we've got that large field of grass to contend with. So, hmm, I'm not really sure where to start. Um, well, it's not really a no-brainer. We have zero dollars, so... The first thing we should probably do is check and see if we can put some of these crops into the flatbed of this pickup truck just to be sure that uh, we can't just sell these right away. Uh, is this going to work? Um, probably not. No, it is not going to work. So, just a heads up, we cannot load crops into the back of our pickup truck. And we've got... Uh, what, thousands upon thousands of liters of crops here that can be sold, that need to be sold, but uh, we can't sell them right now because we need money to buy a trailer. So I'm hoping that uh, there's some work somewhere. Oh, that's my phone. Let's see. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Ben. He was a good man. I need help harvesting my cotton. I can pay you a little, but not much. Pick up my machines from the shop and go to field five if you're interested. Well, that was certainly weird. Um, who was that? And how did he get my phone number? Um, all right, I guess uh, we're going to field number five. But first, we're going to go to the shop to pick up some machines. Uh, so I'm guessing a cotton harvester would be one of them. Um, hopefully a tractor and a trailer to pull the cotton bale once it's done I, I don't even know I've never actually driven a cotton harvester before so this will be new for both of us um, if someone out there has ever driven a cotton harvester before you know more than I do all I know is it's got to be a pretty big machine oh those withered crops oh uh, well uh, what do we got here all right so there's certainly a cotton harvester and a John Deere tractor and a trailer. All right, well, it's just me here, so I can't drive both of them at the same time. So I think we'll probably drive the cotton harvester over there and then we'll harvest the cotton and then come back with the cotton harvester at the shop and then grab the 
trailer, I guess, to haul the cotton bale. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we're off to field number five. Let's look at our map here. Where is field number five? Oh, straight up ahead. What's happening here? Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so I guess, uh, oh, it's an interactive map. That little green flashing circle is where we bring the cotton bale, I believe. And field number five is along this road. We should just keep following this road. All right, so let's head on over to field number five, and then we'll figure out this cotton harvester. Okay, so apparently field number five is in a literal hole. There are rock walls all around us. Um, that took a little bit of doing. So let's see. Okay, there's the unfold harvester button on the dashboard okay that seems pretty easy now I think we just turn it on all right it is on and now I'm thinking we just drive forward over the cotton oh yep that seems to be working all right well that's pretty easy um, this field isn't that big so this shouldn't take very long at all um, and then I guess when we're done, we'll just leave the cotton bale here and drive this very slow machine back to the shop to go get the tractor and the trailer. All right, well, we'll, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the last strip of cotton. Um, and as you can see, there was not a lot of cotton on this field. There is not even one full bale. It's barely even half a bale. So... And I think we passed the spinnery on the way to this field. So I don't know if we need the trailer or not. Can we not just unload the harvester at the spinnery on our way back to the shop to get the pickup truck? Um, but I'm thinking we could probably do that. So why don't we just do that? Uh, you see what I mean here? The field number five, this farmer, for some reason plowed his field in the middle of a hole um, I don't know if that makes sense or maybe that's all the plot of land he could afford at the time I don't know but uh, it just makes no sense to me I'm not a farmer by any means but farming in a hole come on there's like a whole ton of land around here I don't know all right let's get this over to the spinnery at a blistering 15 miles an hour I think the spinnery is just up here. Yeah, it is. It's right here. So it really doesn't make any sense to drive all the way down there to get the trailer to drive it all the way back up here to drive it all the way back. That's just wasting gas. Let's just see if we can do this. I think we just have to put the cotton bale on this pad. And then we're done. So let's see if this works or not. This should work. We should be able to just spit it out oh and it's already gone there's the contract is now completed all right so now i guess we just bring the cotton harvester back to the shop and then we wait for the farmer to send us money i don't even know who this was or how they got my phone number maybe my uncle ben gave them my number i don't know whoops i'm gonna take out your road sign while i'm yeah, yeah, there's no mirrors on this thing, so that's not entirely my fault. All right, let's bring this back to the shop and uh, hopefully we'll get a couple of hundred bucks out of this. Um, that didn't really take very long, so I don't expect to be paid that much, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we're arriving back at the shop with the empty cotton harvester all folded up and ready to go our pickup truck still here that's good we did not require the john deere tractor and trailer uh, still no money in the account though um, that's all right uh, if we did somebody a favor we did somebody a favor it would have been nice to make a little bit of cash but uh, i don't know it is what it is i don't even know who sent me that message um, they didn't really introduce themselves so i can't really tell you who it was i guess we'll just go back to the farm and we'll see if there's anything we can do with this extremely old 1978 pickup truck because we have no money no equipment 
and um, oh, just past the farm. Oh, there's my phone. Oh, incoming transfer, $1,417. Oh, we got it. All right. Nice. Okay, so that worked out. $1,400 for a few hours work. That's not bad. It's still not enough to buy a trailer. So, hmm, I don't know. Um, maybe there's some salvageable crops here. Maybe, uh, no, I think the entire field is withered to the point where it needs to be plowed and limed. We've got absolutely nothing. All right. Um, hmm, well, I don't really know what to do now. Oh, there's my phone again. What's happening now? Hey there, me again. Can you help me cultivate field five? The tractor and cultivator are at the shop. Thanks again. Well, I guess, uh... Mystery man needs more help, so we're going to drive back down to the shop and pick up a tractor and a cultivator. Well, this is also going to be new to me because I've never cultivated anything. Not even friendships. Haha, <laughs> joke. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do, do we just pull the cultivator behind the tractor? I guess we'll find out. Let's get down to the shop here and figure out exactly what's happening. Well, that was good. Uh, maybe we'll make uh, a little bit more cash. Uh, okay, that looks simple enough. So I think all we have to do is attach that to the tractor, right? Some bolts there. Uh, I'm guessing that won't take too long. Nice little Fiat tractor. Well, it's a good thing field number five isn't that big because this cultivator doesn't look that big. Um might not take that long looks to be maybe just a little narrower than the cotton harvester let's just uh, attach this real quick well there we go no hoses no pto looks like we're just dragging a piece of equipment behind the tractor we'll just raise it up perfect hydraulics work all right so we are off to field number five uh, we'll see you in a few minutes and we've arrived back at field number five, the field in a hole. So I'm guessing this is going to work the same as the cotton harvester. We're just going to line this up with the edge of the field and then drive back and forth until the whole thing is cultivated. And then uh, that will be that. Well, that seems easy enough. All right, nine miles an hour. This is uh, a little bit narrower than the cotton harvester. So, um, we're going to get the cultivating done, and uh, we'll check back with you in just a few short hours, maybe. Well, through the magic of TV, it'll be like seconds. Hang on. Whew, okay. That took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, this cultivator uh, <laughs> really isn't all that good or wide. Well, how would I know? I've never cultivated before. What's my basis for comparison? The fact that it took me longer than I wanted it to? Probably. That's probably it. It's completely self-serving. Um, okay. Let's drive this uh, tractor back to the shop. We'll grab the pickup truck and uh, head back to the farm. And uh, we'll wait and see if uh, any money shows up. If not, well, he didn't mention in that second message that he was going to pay us. He just asked for help. So maybe I should start replying to these like, hey, who are you? Or why are you helping me? Who knows? Maybe it's a friend of Uncle Ben's. Um, he didn't have any family out here. It was just him. So I don't know what's going on. Either way, helped me out. We've got $1,417 in the bank right now. Still probably not enough to buy a tractor or a plow or get things going on our farm. Um, maybe I could get, well, even if I do buy a lawnmower, what am I going to attach it to? Like, come on. I can't just hand mow like five or six acres of grass. That's just crazy. Anyways, let's get back to the shop. We'll pick up the pickup truck and we'll figure things out from there. All right, we made it back to the shop safely and securely. Tractor, I think we'll just leave it right here. Um, I don't think we need to um, detach the cultivator. We'll just leave it there. Let's jump on the pickup truck, head back to the farm. 
Um, no money showed up yet, but maybe that's my fault for not asking. If we were getting paid or not replying, I just went and helped. Now I've set a dangerous precedent. I've helped once, and now I think maybe I'm going to be called upon to help all the time. Maybe I should have said no the first time. But then again, it's a, it's a double-edged sword because we needed money. Um, Got to try and get this farm up and running so we can make some real cash. But, oh, there's my phone. Incoming transfer, $408. Well, that is just fantastical. All right, there it is, $408. All right, well, I think we're going to take a little break from helping people out right now. Maybe we'll try and figure out how to get inside this boarded up house and see if there's a couch we can sleep on or something. But uh, great, it's locked. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. It's in the bottom right-hand corner there. Drop a like on the video and ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. You don't want to miss anything here on JCTV. From all of us here at Uncle Ben's Farm, and by all of us, I mean me, have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.